Hello guys, this is FK and welcome to yet another HTMX demo. In this video, we're going to be processing this form that has a file upload. Yeah, it has a file upload. We're going to be processing it with HTMX and displaying the response here. So let's just show and not just keep talking. So let's say dev talk at fk.com, uh, which is a file. You can select my picture, say me and about me, uh, tech and everything in between. So take on everything in between and when I click this, which for some reason I said go somewhere, it, it goes here. Yeah, the response goes here and it also displays my picture. So yeah, neat and simple. We're going to be doing that with HTMX, you know, Hypermedia API and all that goodness. Now, if you're still trying to get the hang of HTMX, I have just released a new course, a new HTMX course that is going to get you through everything you know need to know to get started writing superb HTMX apps. So if you're interested in that, I'm currently running a promo that takes 90% of the price and you can find the link in the description. So if you're interested in the HMX course, grab it right now. I think I, I have like 100 slots at, uh, at the moment. So grab it, grab it uh, so that you can, you know, follow along with me better when I'm doing all these demos. <laughs> but let's let's begin. We're going to be using a, a different version of this project, a, different, a, a stripped down version of this project without the functionality. We're going to be starting it and we're going to be implementing this functionality that we that I just demonstrated. So let us begin. So now we have a bare version of our application. We this this version doesn't have the functionality. So if I say dev talk uh, at fk.com and I pick a file, pick me, and just say tech, and I click go somewhere, it does nothing. It does nothing. No matter how many times I click this, it does nothing. So this is the version that we have not implemented our HTMX functionality. So let us start first by going through the code. Um, go to VS Code. And then in VS Code, uh, we have um, these two folders. These are Hypermedia API. That's just a Node.js um, server that's going to be sending back HTML. And I have a bunch of examples here. The first one I'm doing, which is file uploads, which is the one I'm doing for this video. And um, yeah, let's go through the front end first. Um, let me just pull this aside so we can have more screen space. Uh, very straightforward stuff. We have some bootstrap here, bootstrap CSS. And um, yeah, that's, this is all the link for the bootstrap just for the styling. Then I have my profile form with uh, some form elements. We have the one for the email. We have the one for the file, that's file upload, and we have um, the text area for the about me section. And we have a button that says go somewhere. Well, let, me, let me just say submit because go somewhere really sounds weird. Uh, submit. Okay, that's good. And we have another div here by the right hand side where the response goes. So it says response goes here. So that's cool. That's our front end. Just HTML, all HTML for now. We've not brought in the HTMX library right away. Go to our server, um, scroll up. Simple Node.js server uh, created out of Express. We have the Express package, the course package. Now I have Malta. Malta is doing all the file upload stuff. Um, if, if you're not familiar with Malta, you can still follow along. It's, it's just doing the file upload stuff. It doesn't have anything to do with how HTMX is actually going to handle this. So this up upload functionality could have been written in with any library or written with pure Node.js. It doesn't matter. Uh, then we have body parser because uh, we're going to be... Uh, Using it to set up a middleware to also get URL encoded uh, requests and uh, the, the part FS module, all those are for the file upload uh, functionality. So yeah, we set up calls, we set up the body parser and we also, yeah, we set up uh, an uploads folder. That is the folder where our files are going to be. So I don't, I don't think I've created that yet. So let's go into our hypermedia API and just create the uploads folder uploads that's good so that's what we set this this can be any folder of your choice uh using any uh upload implementation of your choice but this this is uh this is just to make sure that we can retrieve the files when we upload them we can view them from the front end now this is a multi configuration that just configures where the file should go which is the uploads directory and also what should be the um generated name for the files all standard upload stuff and we go to our endpoint. This is the endpoint that is going to be taking our request. The upload endpoint. It uses the multi, uh, it uses multi as a middleware so that any file that's uploaded with the name of file, with the name of file, 
yeah so in the front end we have to give our fi file parameter the name file and this just this just spits out the file part so that's all standard stuff the port running and all that yeah app listening and all that so that's our node.js server also just pretty standard stuff we have our upload functionality and we have our endpoint so let's begin let's begin writing um uh, first let us um go back to our front end the first thing we need to do is get the htmx library let's get the htmx library so i'm just going to go to the htmx website htmx.org okay um I'm just going to go to docs let's go to docs and here go to installing and just pick this I'm just going to pick this script tag so we'll get a script tag copy it go back to vs code and just put it aside go back to vs code and just put it um above or oh, just let's put it below the css yeah so that it doesn't block the css from loading so yeah we'll put it below the css file and uh so we have htmx in we have htmx working the next thing is to prepare our request so our request our form elements are inside this card body uh for bootstrap bootstrap card body so what i'm going to do um everything in this body which is basically everything that is contained in our form i'm going to wrap it around a form tag so it's a form uh sorry from that's a from start i'm just going to cut the closing tag scroll down and put it down here just below the button yeah so it gets everything for our form let me just do a bit of uh you know formatting here take this and uh push this in a little bit okay that's cool that's neater uh let me close this Oh, they are good. Okay, so we have um, we have wrapped everything in a form tag, within it, and the next thing we're going to be doing is giving names to all these properties in HTMX. In order to send this file, all this um, file or all these form widgets have to have names because that is the name that that is the parameter names that is going to be sent in the request. So for our email, let's say our name name of our email will be my email. Let me use a uh, camel case there. So uh, my email, then for our file, the name will be set to file because our server is expecting file. So the name will be set to file. So let's do that. Let's make sure that we also set the name as file here. And for our text area, we also give it a name and we set that to um, about me. Yeah, about me. About me. So we have uh, our email input as my email, our type, name file, name is file, for the text area, about me. So we have that. So now we have all this configured. The main magic, the main HTMX magic, because these are still all pretty standard form stuff. The main HTMX magic is going to be on this, on this button. Yeah, on this button. This button is going to trigger the request. So first, um, we first send the request with HX post because this upload part is a post endpoint. So HX post, I'm going to point this to our server. Our server is running on uh, port 1330 by default. We have no ports set in the environment, so we'll just use port 1330. So this is going to go to HTTP local host port 1330 for slash upload. Upload, that's the endpoint endpoint is upload and we're sending it to the upload endpoint so http colon for double four slash localhost colon 1330 which is the port and upload now next the next is going to be our encoding we need to set an encoding because we are sending a file so we say hx encoding and that will be equal to multipart four slash form data Multipart for slash form data. This is very, very important because we are sending a file. So multipart form data. And the next thing we're going to set is our destination. We want the hypermedia that is coming from the server to go into this place, this right div. So we set it, we set our uh, target, HX target. But before we do that, uh, let's make sure we have our ID on this target. We'll call it destination. 
so id destination so we then pick this id come here and say hx target equals bound destination destination so we have just instructed hmx that whatever is coming from this uh request whatever response is coming from this request should go into this destination div so as i mentioned earlier if you're still having issues understanding all these different attributes hmx attributes or getting a hang of hmx check out my course i just released it it's amazing eight chapters of hmx goodness uh i'm going to be i'm going to be target ta ta tacking a video to the end of this video that's going to give you a summary of all the chapters in the course you can check it out and like i said i'm currently giving out for 90 percent off so you want to grab that offer while it lasts so we have said uh everything that comes from this request the response that comes to go into this destination div so that's good we've taken care of everything on this side on the client side which is all good let's save that now let's go to the server side let's go to the server side now uh we'll go to the server we have we know our file is going to be uploaded but what do we send back what do we send back i would like to send so you guys just send i'd like to send some structured hypermedia back and i want something that will contain uh what we just sent that's the name that's the email rather the email about me and the picture about the picture so first let's grab a hold on the body of the request so we say const body equals rec dot body so we have a hold on that so i'm just going to create a container container div open close div okay, going to create a container div and i'm just going to put a bunch of paragraphs in here yeah one paragraph here and the first paragraph is going to hold uh the email sorry uh to the badass designers in the house <laughs> i know i could have uh, given something much more structured and uh more appealing than this but let's just work with this the demo so um just going to put a variable in here and say this will be body dot and for our email the name we use for our email is uh my email yeah my email come okay so say my email then we just copy this and replicate the same thing for the about me just say about so about will be about me that's the name we used in the front end about me and our last paragraph is going to contain our image it's going to contain our image uh for that we'll need an image tag just stick an image tag in here img then set the source we'll set the source to the um part that will get us our file now that will be um our server url for slash our file name because we've already defined that every static file should be served from the uploads folder so we don't need to include the uploads folder in that url so now i could have done some fancy node.js to get the base url but i'm just going to type in <laughs> i'm just going to type in the uh base url for the server directly and say http localhost uh, 1330 for slash and we're going to have the file let me put this up we're going to have the file here and for Malta, we can get that using rec dot file dot file name. Yeah, because this has this has a file part, but this gives us a file name. So rec dot file dot file name. And to save that, and we just hope everything works fine. We just hope everything works fine. So um yeah, we have this. Um yeah, yeah. Um looks fine. Front end looks fine. So let's just save everything and test it out. To test, we go to our. I think this this we're serving our front end from here, so that should be good. Uh, let's have our back end. Where are we? So if we say ls, uh, yeah, we go into our hypermedia API, and we can start this. Uh, but first, I think I need to do an npm install. npm install. Let's make sure we install our dependencies. That would just be um i think it's just express calls and malta yeah express calls and malta so yeah we have all that installed and um now i can just run node server and it's running app is now running on port 1330 so i hope everything works i just hope this doesn't blow up in my face okay so um let us go back to our front end let me refresh this hard then i'm just going to check the page source 
because that has beaten me before to make sure that our changes have kicked in okay our names are in our form our atmx library destination div everything all cool okay so we have the latest version of the front end now let us test um for the email we say devtalk at fk.com and um i pick my image and say tech and everything everything in between tech and everything in between and click submit and we have everything here yeah we have everything here we have our email we have our about and we have our image displaying wonderful wonderful awesome so in this video we've been able to process this form using hmx this form has a bunch of parameters and also has a file upload which is actually the main reason why we are here <laughs> so we've been able to process a file upload and also display our file in the browser so thanks for joining me in this demo i'm going like i said i'm going to be tacking on uh the video for the um course next to this video so you can just stick around for that so that you can see a breakdown of the course and like i said there's a 90 percent discount so you might want to grab that before it's done thank you and see you in another video bye htmx is here and you need to learn it right now htmx brings a whole new approach to web development that returns us back to the days when things were simple and you don't have to install a thousand libraries just to build your simple to-do list app unlike the single page application frameworks like react.js vue.js and angular htmx is hypermedia driven meaning that it takes advantage of all the native functionalities that come with the browser instead of forcing you to use a javascript heavy model with htmx you simply add one library and get a suite of tools that help you build highly interactive apps without all the headache of managing multiple dependencies. Want to learn how to start building highly interactive applications with HTMX? That's exactly what we'll be doing in this course. We will start off by learning what HTMX is all about, the problem it aims to solve, what hypermedia and hypermedia APIs are all about, and how HTMX compares with single page application frameworks like React, Vue, and Angular. We will then have our Hello World moment in HTMX by loading some content from an HTTP server onto our page using just attributes and no single JavaScript. How amazing is that? We then dive deep into how to work with HTTP servers by sending and receiving requests using different HTTP methods. You will also learn how to use different events to trigger HTTP requests, how to add a progress indicator, pull content continuously from the server, and also intercept a request before it is fired. We will also be sending data along with our requests using different strategies. And we won't just be sending text-based data. You will also learn how to upload files and deal with race conditions. Next, we explore different ways you can load and display content into your pages. You will learn how to target a destination for your content and use HTML's suite of swap styles to control how content is loaded into your pages. We will also be looking at HTMX out of bound swaps and how to load a subset of your server response into your page. Animations are also a big part of HTMX, so you will be learning how to animate content on your pages. HTMX also allows you to hook into so many events in order to customize behaviors and add more interactivity to your applications. An entire chapter has been dedicated to mastering how to hook into your page events. You will learn how to trigger actions when the application loads, intercept content swaps to perform any required actions, handle request failures, and also set up a login system for your application. We'll also be working with WebSocket servers for real-time operations as we build a WebSocket server from scratch and send data to it and also receive data from it. We'll also be looking at numerous tools that HTMX provides for you to interact with the web browser. This includes tools for working with the browser history, caching pages, and setting up security configurations for your applications. This course has been structured to get you building powerful front-end applications with HTMX in no time. So, what are you waiting for? It's time to learn HTMX right now.